Hi friend, Alex Housen from Right Medicine here. With more artificial intelligence tools popping up every week and claiming to be the next best thing to revolutionize your workflow, of course, it is undoubtedly an exciting but overwhelming time to be a writer and educator in CME and CE. There's no denying that computers are excellent at data storing, sorting and retrieving. But that doesn't mean they can create quality, authentic and ethical CME and CE content. That's continuing education for our health professionals. Generative AI, artificial intelligence, like ChatGPT, has many, many drawbacks that can impact the quality of the work that they produce. I wrote about this recently in an Alliance Almanac article and in the Journal of the American Medical Writers Association. But here's the breakdown. AI has no capacity for context. It lacks perspective, symbolic understanding and emotional context, which means it can't really parse nuance in text. And if you're a CME and CE medical writer, nuance is everything. AI isn't a substitute for real research. You know and I know that real research and analysis is complex and time-consuming. An AI-produced analysis might be faster, but it's potentially riddled with mistakes and inaccuracies. AI lacks content integrity. There's no clear path that AI tools take to create content or come to conclusions. And as a result, the content created lacks professional integrity and clarity. If you're a Right Medicine listener or follow me on LinkedIn or subscribe to the Right Medicine newsletter, you know that content integrity is queen in CME and CE. And AI creates or reinforces or reproduces bias and ethical dilemmas. Existing social and cultural biases get baked into the learning models that are used to create AI tools, which very likely dampen diversity, equity and inclusion. AI is also really thirsty. According to a recent AP report, ChatGPT consumes a ton of water, about a pint at 16 ounces for every 5 to 50 prompts that we create. As CME and CE practitioners, and if you're a writer, you're a practitioner, reliability, validity and authenticity are required benchmarks for the educational content that we create. And because of this, using generative AI tools to wholeheartedly create your materials is never a good idea, no matter how much time it saves. What to do instead? Augment your system with AI tools. Machine learning resources can be incredibly helpful for time-consuming tasks like data coding, maybe, and brainstorming prompts. So with this in mind, I'd like to hear from you. How do you use AI tools to supplement your CME and CE content? And you can read more about AI in CME and CE in the Right Medicine newsletter or hear about it on the Right Medicine podcast. Thanks for watching. Go gently.